So many of you who have seen my channel before will know that I set my rig up every time I image and I take it down every time I finished. And having an observatory would be a luxury. So um, I'm pleased to say that I've managed to negotiate with a wifer area of the garden. I can now actually build my own observatory. So I've already made a start. I've just set it out and I'm going to be filming the complete build in stages and the first stage will be the concrete pier and uh, they'll be following stages right through to completion. delivery of ballast so I can make concrete for the base. So as you can see I've had a delivery of a major part of my new observatory. This is what I'm going to use to build the pier with. It is a cardboard tube which I will fill with concrete to create the concrete column. So the idea of painting the inside of the tube with polyurethane is to actually protect the cardboard once I've poured all the concrete into it and that's to stop all the moisture from going into the cardboard and going too soggy too quick and potentially slumping out of shape. I know it's going to have steel rebar up the middle so it shouldn't do really but this is just to give a bit of extra protection. most important part of the build is the pier. Now I did order a um, pier adapter for my EQ6R Pro and I ordered it from a German company but unfortunately they were unable to ship to the UK something to do with new EU rules so they refunded me money and cancelled the order. So I looked on YouTube and I found a couple of other ways to do it. So what I've done, I've purchased some disc brakes. They come in pairs and what I'm going to do, I've got a friend who is an engineer, he's going to drill some holes in here for me and I will position the two discs like this in this bottom plate. I'm going to get him to drill some holes so I can put some threaded rod down into the actual concrete pier. This centre hole it's exactly the same size as the hole on the top of my tripod, it's 65mm which the EQ6R Pro should fit in that hole exactly. Okay, just to show you how this fits, this is the disc and it fits very nicely over the base of the EQ6R Pro. If you can see that, it fits a treat. There is no movement at all. Once I get a plate welded across here with a hole in it, all I've got to do is put a bolt in to do the bolt up and it will be nice and tight. So this is the mount sitting on the top and as you can see it moves nicely. So I just picked up my PO adapter and this is nothing more than two brake discs bolted together. That's about 100 mil apart and these are stainless steel rods which are going to go down into the concrete pier. And I've just had this hole drilled and tapped so I can put my north pin in. That's the critical part that I have to line up when I set the hole adapter into the concrete pier. I have to make sure that this little pin is pointing towards north. Okay, so I've stripped the mount down and I'm now going to clean it up and give it a coat of red oxide paint. So here it is all stripped down. First thing I'm going to do is give it a coat of this red oxide primer. And when that's dry, I'll give it a couple of coats of this nice blue colour. And this is a lugger which I will put on top as a protective coat. 
So the first thing I've got to do is clean all of these grease marks off. So you can see that's really smudging. So I need to degrease all this and then I can give it a coat of the red oxide primer paint. So Curry, if you can dig me a hole over there, please. That'd be great, yeah? That's it, and put the dirt in the wheelbarrow. Yeah. That'd be lovely, yeah? I want it about two foot deep, please. Lovely, thanks, mate. You missed a bit, Curry. Come on, mate, dig a bit more. You can't get out the hole yet, you ain't finished. That's better, get back in the hole. Carry on digging. That's it, well done. So the foundation for the pier is now complete and I did dig it myself, I promise. Uh, it might look a bit of overkill. There's some steel reinforcing in the hole. That is 600 square by 600 deep. And some rebar, 16 mil rebar is coming up, which will come into the tube. And that tube will sit over there. And it's going to look something like that. Okay, so I've now got to drill a hole in the bottom of the tube so I can put my pipe in for the cables. As you can see, I've had to reinforce the supports. I screwed these two long pieces into the ground. That's to keep the bottom from moving. And now these four angled pieces are holding it perfectly upright. So, now to pour the concrete in the tube and hope it stays in that position. Okay, so this is probably the most important part of the lot.
Okay, so the adapter's in place and I've got the pin pointing to north. It's pretty close as best I can get. Should be able to get exactly to north with the adjustments on the mount itself. So that's in. I'll just wait for that to go off a bit and then I can clean that up. I'm going to have to scoop some of that concrete out of there. Uh, it's in position and I'm quite happy with that. So I've raised it up now and I'm going to leave it like this for a few hours. That's just to make sure that it doesn't sink or move its position. So that's the pier complete. That's gone quite well and I'm quite pleased with it. Concrete's drying nicely so just to move on to the next stage now and I will be filming uh, all the stages of this build so if you'd like to follow along and see how I get on then please consider subscribing to the channel. I um, hope you liked the video and I hope someone found it useful. So um, it just leaves me to say thanks to everybody, um, all my subscribers and everybody for watching. So thanks again, I look forward to seeing you all on the next video and I wish you all clear skies.